to go in depth on this topic. We're pleased to be joined by Dr. Ted Baer. He's the chairman of the Christian Film and Television Commission. Dr. Baer, thanks for Skyping in from California to join us here on America's Forum. Oh, it's great to be with you today. Thank you. Dr. Baer, what is your take on the situation in the Middle East? Is it beyond imagining that Christians could leave the Holy Land altogether? It is not beyond imagining. And uh, to put it in context, you know, I've had wonderful academic debates. I was head of a department at Berkeley, of all liberal places, <laughs> except that's not my perspective. But I've done debates at University of San Francisco, Kiev, Rhodes, etc. Uh, uh, and it is a very uh, complex issue, as you know. But the issue is that you've got uh, a lot of the impetus now within Islam to drive out uh, all signs of any other faith or religion, whether it's Christian or, or Baha'i or, or uh, anything else out there. So we, we, we now have a very serious situation going on where the only thing we can do is to hope for uh, reaching people with the good news. And that's what I do when I do these debates uh, anywhere in the world. In fact, uh, today I got one of my... Uh, little notices from the group that I that I asked me to debate and wrote. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a heartbreaking situation. It requires prayer. I know Andrew, I've met him, and, uh, and thank you for bringing up the topic. I think it's, uh, right now, I think it's intractable. Doctor, do you think we're facing a genocide in the Middle East? We are. We've been facing genocide for hundreds of years, you know, ever since 600 uh, AD. So, uh, uh, you know, we've, we've been facing a lot of genocide. And the, and the problem that we have here, and I just had a friend uh, over to my house on Saturday who, uh, whose family is Armenian, and, uh, you know, there was a lot of reports of the Armenian genocide. There was a wonderful movie about the Armenian genocide back in 1923 showing the killings, the crucifixions and all that. But this has been going on. Uh, in Armenia, in Kenya, in uh, <clears throat> Uganda, under Idi Amin, uh, where he cut up body parts and put them in his refrigerator, in uh, Algeria, where the terrorism was so bad that de Gaulle, who had said he would stand against giving up Algeria, Algeria had been part of the Roman Lake, part of Western civilization for centuries, and the killings were, were amazing. So what we have here is a constant genocide that's been going on uh, for 1,600 years at least, and that's, uh, the problem is, as I started to say, is we forget the history, and therefore, we don't make any progress. One of the debates we did is, how can we bring, uh, and this, and I'm coming as a strong and believing uh, Christian uh, who came to Christ late in life, but how can we bring uh, Islam back into the 21st century, and we'd have to stop the genital mutilization of children, we'd have to stop the uh, sexual exploitation of children, we'd have to stop all sorts of 21 points. And it was, um, you know, these were leading academics from all over the region, from uh, supposedly the more moderate regions, who just refused to even consider any of these points. And Dr. So, Bear, as you lay out this scenario, it prompts another question. I I'm gonna ask you to think about this during the break, and when we come back, I wanna get your thoughts on this. As you are setting this forth, is, are the doctrinal differences between Islam and other faiths, or specifically Islam and Christianity, are they irreconcilable in terms of the current geopolitical situation in which we find ourselves? Think about it, Dr. Baer. We'll have you answer that question on the other side of this break as America's Forum continues here on Newsmax TV.